you know, being in university for some time, one of the things that, you know, I have done, and I know other people do, is fronting. Fronting is basically where people tend to put up a facade or a persona to and pretend to be something that they're not. Yeah, and this is done, you know, for a lot of reasons. I mean, you know, it can be different things. They just look extra cool. How you doing? To show that you don't need money. I'm sorry, sir, but this card has been declined. Ah. Okay, then try this one then. This card has also been declined, sir. Ah ah. This won't work for sure. This card has also been declined, sir. Don't worry. I, I got you somewhere. <laughs> You know, and my personal favorite among the Christian community itself. And unfortunately, I can't really animate it. Being extra righteous when you know that the life you're living isn't really as righteous as you it seems. Oh my goodness, this thing is not... Yeah, in front of me is everywhere. I mean, we do it at church, we do it at home, we do it with friends. We even do it at school. Heck, it's even done in the social media. Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr. I don't want to go with that. You know, you people might consider broadcasting it over the internet as the worst thing, but no. The worst thing is when we do it in front of the people we consider part of, you know, our inner circle, our closest, the people we trust. Most of the time we just put up a front to show that everything is cool or, you know, to pretend that nothing's bothering you or what you said yesterday didn't hurt me or I don't need to talk to you anymore I'm fine but, but hey me I get it I mean when you think about it most people don't want others to know about their problems so maybe that's the main reason why they people front I mean you don't want other issues being dealt with particularly by other people or strangers or even other Christians for that matter some people just aren't ready for that don't get me wrong please I'm not saying that you should tell them your deepest darkest secrets your whole high school history I'll give them a rundown of everything that's happened to you in your past relationships I'm also not saying that you should put everything on the social media Charlie, who am I kidding? <laughs> Some of you already do that. You know, and you know, showing things are always going well for you and everything. You know, I get it. You don't want other people to know. But then the fact is, no man is an island. No man or woman is an island. That's right. Girls, I am including you. You are also guilty. Every once in a while, you know, you fall down and you just need someone to help you back up. You know, particularly for fellow Christians. I mean, think about it. If we were perfect, then we wouldn't have needed Jesus in the first place. I mean, sometimes we shouldn't be thinking more highly of ourselves than we ought to. I mean, if you know you're angry at someone, you don't have to be passive about it. If you know you're upset about something, you don't have to hide and tell you're offended by a word, but then you give it a snot comment. Something that you're not known for. And it's not right. It's not about just being proud or showing that you're all right. It's about acting in a different way. I mean, if you're hurt about some, if someone hurt you or offended you, be it a petty case or whatever, don't hide it. I mean, sometimes it's good to hide certain things. I get it. But then if it's between someone you know, someone you're close to, right? You don't have to struggle. You don't have to hold this thing in because sometimes when you do that, the only thing you're doing is holding in more hatred for that person. I've done some things like this in the past, especially younger in high school. And I am not proud of it, alright? That's why I'm even bringing this up in the first place. Because I'm telling you, it is not right. I need the funny thing is, if you do that to one person, especially someone you consider in one of the people in your closest circle, that person might do the same thing to you. And you may not even realize it. And you will get angry and offended as well. And you won't even understand why. People have to understand the benefit of being transparent and honest with you know with others particularly the people that you know, with their inner circle with the people they trust the people they love well hold on a second me i'm not saying you should go and tell all, all your problems and put it onto them and yeah, that would just be weird yeah. but if you can't be real to the people that you consider in your in your close inner circle be it close friend or closest friend or your family even if 
they are also fronting on you and it may hurt you and you do the same by fronting as well on them as well and let me tell you from experience you're missing out on the lot keep in mind that as we pray to him for guidance and for solutions to our problems can you guess the typical thing that he's using to answer those problems people and i believe in particular it's people within the body of christ the fact is that some people are actually willing to share your burdens i mean if you give them the opportunity to help you for all you know they want to do so they want to share your burdens because they may really care about you and what a lot of people especially christians forget is that these people that you consider or you know are trustworthy and care about you enough may be the same people that pray for you every single day to get through those problems if you know you have someone that you consider close enough to trust or as part of your inner circle don't hesitate that pick up that phone give them a call even if that person doesn't call you as often as you call them or text you as often as you text them i'm sure they'll understand so why are you front why are you front you know you're angry you know you're hurt you know you're frustrated you know you don't can't talk for a good reason you know you're struggling so i struggle alone thanks for watching peace